Well, you can expect your car to run well to get you from point A to point B with no problem, and then the check engine light pops up. Now you're in trouble. On your sides, Vince Vitrano shows us there are new gadgets to help you fix your car without having to take it to a mechanic. No more fears of a breakdown and then huge repair bills. There are new DIY diagnostic tools and they may be real money savers. Kenny Wong is pretty handy when it comes to his cars. The occasional problem here and there causes us to, you know, find ways to be able to fix it on our own without having to, to take it to a shop because of the cost of rep car repairs. But when his engine light comes on, it may be harder to figure out just what's causing the problem. Cars are so computerized these days, they can be complicated. Even mechanics use special devices to diagnose what's wrong. Well, now there's a slew of new do-it-yourself diagnostic code readers. They're available to regular people like us, and many folks are trying to keep their cars on the road as long as possible. The average vehicle in the U.S. is now almost 11 years old. 200,000 is the new 100,000 miles. Uh, they, uh, especially in a down economy, people will keep cars longer and uh, try to do whatever they can to save a little money here and there. Edmunds.com reports these readers may make it easier than ever to hit that mark. From the car MD to the scan gauge to DIY diagnostic tools are affordable and simple to use. The onboard diagnostics port is right underneath the steering wheel below the dashboard and the devices will plug in and read the code and display a code number. And you just look up the number online or in the manual. You can decide from there if it's something you can handle on your own or for which you need a pro. Knowing what the code is, um, in some cases, there are some fairly benign codes that might have to do with a gas cap that's loose or got a cut in the little O-ring, and you could fix that yourself. Kenny thinks DIY tools are a good investment. It would definitely be a handy tool to have around the house in case further incidents come up. Some of the codes are a little bit difficult to decipher and they don't always lead directly to the answer. However, if you go to the mechanic with at least some level of knowledge, you're in a much better position. On your side, Vince Vitrano, today's TMJ4.